Hi, my name is Rich. I'm going to answer this Excel question. Okay, so let's see. We have the, let's read the problem. Create a formula without a function. All right, so I'm going to make a formula. So that means just use the equal sign. But I can't use a function or built-in function in Excel. And then I'm going to use absolute references. Pointer here. That's not the pointer. I'm going to use absolute references. And that, so I'm going to subtract the values in B5 and B7. So these two values, I'm going to subtract them from B6. And then I'm going to multiply the results by B8. So best to look at an Excel spreadsheet. So let me share my screen. Oh, I'm sharing my screen. Okay. So over here, I have um, values in B5, B5, B7, and B6, and then I'm going to multiply that by the results in B8. So I'm going to go into B10, and let's do this formula, so equal sign, and I don't want to use any built, any functions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the parentheses here, and I'm going to take, I want to subtract from B6, so I'm going to put B6. Now important, it said absolute, so I have to put uh, absolute references, means put dollar symbols. So I'm going to hit the F4 key right now. I have my key and my my flash my mouse um, I am flashing I'm on the B6 and I'm going to hit F4. All right, so there's my B6 and that's uh, absolute reference now with the dollar symbols around it. Then I'm going to subtract both. So I'm going to put open parentheses here. I'm going to subtract both B5, B5 um, absolute reference. I'm going to hit F4 key uh, and I'm going to add to that. I'm subtracting both of these uh, B. B7, hit the F4 key, make it absolute reference, close that parentheses. So now I'm going to subtract both B5 and B7, as the problem says. And then I'm going to get a result. So I'm going to add these two, two values in these cells together. In this case, it will be 10 and 30, so I'll have 40. So I'm going to subtract 40 from B6, and B6 has 20 in it. So I'm going to end up with 20 minus 40 or minus 20. And then I'm going to multiply by 100. So I'm going to have to now use the shift 8 for the asterisk for the multiplication symbol. Multiply it by what's the value in B8. Absolute reference again. Hit the F4. Hit that. And I get 2,000. All right. Now, if I, if the reason I use absolute references, so when I copy the formula over, if I move the cell over 1, it didn't change any, any of the references. It didn't adjust. It's not relative to where the cell started and where I moved it to. So, for example, if I now remove all the absolute references, make them relative references to get rid of all the dollar symbols. All right, now save it. Now when I copy it over, i just hold this box here, get that black cross, copy it over. Now... It adjusted relative. I moved over one cell, one um, column, and all my formulas, all, all my values in there, all my cell references also moved over. Right, because I was on B, and I copied over to the right. All the references moved over one column also. All right, that that is the answer. Let me go back, put those absolute references in. Can't forget those. That's what the problem asked us to do. Put that back in there. Right, just to check that it's working, I'll copy that over. And again, it's absolute reference, so it's, it's not going to use these values when I copy it over. Okay, I hope that was helpful. And if you need any tutoring in finance, corporate finance, Series 7, investments, Excel modeling, um, I'm available to tutor. Thank you.